Yeah, I am Charlie McMurray. I am the CEO of Charles McMurray Company in Fresno, California. Uh, we've been a customer of Quick Screws since the beginning. I think we were one of their first customers. Um, I've been with their company for 15 years now and have dealt with uh, Greg and Jared uh, since I started. So which products do you guys buy from us? Um, we buy all kinds of wood products. So our customers are woodworkers, cabinet makers. Um, so they buy cabinet assembly screws, pocket hole screws, you know, all different types of, types of hardware, uh, attachment screws, and then we also buy uh, bits and stuff, and a few little oddball things. So why do you think you guys have stuck with us for so long? Um, you know, we, one of the reasons that we've stuck with Quick Screw for all these years is that um, Greg specifically has just really helped and, and Rick have really helped our business. Uh, they understand our business and bring products to us that um, our customers want and their customers, our customers demand. When, when we first started doing business with Quick Screw before I started here, I've just heard these stories from uh, my dad and our previous CEO that um, we didn't sell many screws um, originally. Uh, those were kind of for the specialty fastener people and Greg really helped us to understand that fasteners were a product that our customers wanted. It was in demand, they were in demand and it fit really well with the products that we were already selling. So Greg really helped us become stronger in um, fasteners in general. Um, now Quick Screws is one of our top 10 vendors. Um, we buy a lot of quick screw products and our customers buy a lot of them from us. So um, the, the products are good products and they're in demand and we're happy to have them in stock now. Did you get any feedback on the quality of our products? Um, nobody complains. So I think it's one of those, um, you know, no news is good news kind of things. I mean, screws are just supposed to work. If they work, then they work and that's what they're expected to do. Uh, um, if they don't work, you hear about it and people complain about it and people don't complain about them. So and we've had, you know, on a pro new product introduction a long time ago, some threading was a little bit different than it should have been, but you guys got that solved really quickly. It wasn't a long-term issue. And um, we've had very few issues with product quality over the over the years. I can literally only remember one. And uh, you guys got it solved in a couple of weeks. It was, it was not a big deal. How do you find the ordering process? Um, there's not a mystery there. We place our orders and they show up when we're expected, uh, when they're expected to show up. So um, again, one of those uh, no news is good news kind of things. Where do you think the woodworking business is going in the future? I think woodworking will continue to be strong in the West. I can really only speak to the West. I don't know what the rest of the country is going to be like, but um, I think people in the West value um, good quality cabinetry in their homes because they know it makes it it makes their home you know, look look better than a, than a track house and so um, our customers are custom cabinet manufacturers so I, I am optimistic that that group of customers will continue to have a place in the market in the West um, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about our future and uh, who knows what all this COVID stuff's gonna bring, but uh, people still need places to live. And hopefully now that everybody's locked down at home, I think it should be mandatory for them to remodel either a kitchen or a bathroom. Um, they're it's gonna be something yeah. more anyway, they might as well remodel. So yeah. it's a, I'm making that push. So see if yeah. you can support me on that, all right? I'll, I'll be putting your good word out there. Okay, thank you. <laughs>